this video, we're going to talk about logo design and how to bring it to a finalized um, piece. And as you can see, I've drawn and drawn this logo over and over trying to figure out how I want it to be. And that's the whole process that it takes of figuring things out, using your um, tracing paper to kind of put things in a different place, reposition, and eventually we want to get to a final logo okay so i decided that this is going to be the final logo so what i've done is i've traced the heart i turned that halo into a crown i thought that was pretty fun and now when i went to trace uh one side of these decorative um, pieces here i decided that i was going to flip my tracing paper over and trace the same swirl the same decorative part again and so that kind of helps me to have a more um, just making sure that these two pieces match whereas here they're slightly different and also I added guidelines so I made sure I knew where my center was and where my top lines and my bottom lines were so that when I begin to draw this piece um, it is where I want it to be all right so now that I have that done, and you all probably were, were working on your lettering and stuff, what I've done is I have drawn it on one side, then I flipped my tracing paper over, and I actually traced it with my pencil on the back side of the tracing paper. Why did I do that? I did that because I wanted this tracing paper to turn into a transfer paper. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this. This is going to be our final paper. It's it's a semi-gloss um, coated paper that is normally used at a print shop. All right, so this is our salvaged paper that we're using. And I'm going to position my logo where I want it. And I'm going to begin to retrace it. And now because the graphite is on the back side, it's going to transfer over. If you need to stabilize your paper with a piece of tape, make sure you do that because we want um, your efforts not to go to waste. For example, if you're over here tracing and then you decide to lift the paper or you decide to move, um, what's going to happen there is your tracing paper is going to move and then you're going to keep tracing and it's going to... Uh, reposition your lines and they're not going to quite match so it's going to look a little wobbly and a little shaky it's going to have lines that you are not wanting and we want to keep this marker paper pretty clean and clear we don't want it to have um, a lot of information because it's difficult to erase on this paper but I'm going to hold it steady on one side and gently lift it and I don't know if you can see that but it's transferring over pretty nicely and I'm actually noticing that this this piece right here is a little too close um, to the heart so I'm gonna slightly move that over and I'm doing that on purpose okay um, because I want to move and change my design a bit now once you get this into a computer this is a lot easier but what we want to do is we want to figure out a lot of the stuff before we would normally go to a computer it's always good to do that because when you sit down in a computer sometimes it's a little bit nowadays it's a little bit easier to to draw with it um with a stylus or whatever but uh, but it it also is just a lot better to figure things out before you hit the computer and then once you hit the computer, you already have a lot of information to work with normally. But in our case, what we are going to do is we are going to actually use a, um, a pen to continue inking this. Now this is where you really want to take your time because for example, I'm going to trace my heart. Now my heart is a little thicker in some parts and a little thinner in other parts. And so I'm going to be concerned with that outer edge line, that contour of that heart. And now I'm going to carefully fill it in. Now you need to work slowly so that when you go to fill in or outline, 
that it's going to be nice and crisp and it's going to transfer really nicely. If I, for example, if I wanted to create a copy of this, if it's nice and sharp, these lines, they're going to look like a really nice graphic image if I wanted to put it on a t-shirt if I wanted to enlarge it if I wanted to shrink it it's going to transfer nicely it's going to copy nicely if I wanted to um, import it into Illustrator and then there's a little button in Illustrator that says uh, trace and expand and what that does is it turns your drawing into a vector image a vector image is a digital line. It's basically a digital object. It's, it, it can be blown up huge or it can be shrunk really small. It can be put on any kind of media and material for print, for web, or anything. And it's always going to retain that nice, sharp look. Okay? It's not like a photograph. A photograph has um, pixels. Vectors don't have pixel vectors are very sharp.